But this place is very pretty. I would not wear my headphones because like, I just need to know like what's going on around me. Anyway, I'm super happy I got this. What exactly is vegetarian here? I could just go in and out. But then I'm like, oh, I'm scared. Getting more comfortable. Speaking Japanese. Scared, I'm gonna be anxious that at the end I can do it. This hotel has an onsen. Should I go? I'm kind of scared because I don't want to be naked. I think inside is like tatami. This one's bigger than the other hotel, but it's also not extremely big. I don't know why they gave me two beds. I don't know if I should just put my luggage on there. Would that be bad? I don't know how this opens, to be honest. They said this. Oh, this is the instructions. The roll screen automatically opens and closes. Operate the bedside switch to open or close the roll screen. Bedside switch. Oh, there's one over there. This one has more buttons. Bedroom, entrance, nightlight. Nightlight's this. Okay. Oh. Oh, curtain. <gasps> Shut up. Shut up. Wait, that's so cool. Wait, what's this then? Oh, this is to stop it. Oh my gosh. Shut up. Oh my god. Do you see that rainbow? It's a rainbow. I'm on eighth floor, guys. Oh my god. This is like a little. And then here's the entrance. I have a little door here. Like, you can just like close yourself off. The bathroom is bigger than the other one. Because remember in Taiwan, like, they used to have spots to put the luggage. But no, these is like, you have to have certain type of seats and you have to reserve it. You guys are always so helpful with these type of things. And yeah, one of you guys told me that there's like this type of thing called like hotel delivery services. Ask like a hotel to just deliver the luggage to another place. I have nowhere else to put my luggage, okay? Oh my god, oh my god, the clothes are falling out. Ah. See, next time I travel again, I know that I can't pack that much stuff. I think I bought too much clothes. It was just like I was confused about the climate. Okay, I'm just gonna bring her and we're gonna leave. One of you guys. This is Dana. <laughs> she brought me to this photo booth place. Furikura. Basically, they're stickers. That's so cool. like to say I fucking love Kyoto. It's just like slow, it's quiet, it's nice. So I'm currently walking to the Kyo Mizu Temple. You could take the bus there. Uh, I'm scared. I'm scared of taking buses in general. Like I don't want to hold up a line, you know? I can walk for a really long time. And guys, remember, did I tell you guys? I bought these pair of platform boots. They're very, very easy to walk in, like I'm happy with it. We 
sidetracked a lot, but we're 20 minutes away. Yes, yeah, so we're 20 minutes away. We're just gonna go straight. And that little place right there, I saw a lot of people. Oh, thank you, Buddhist. Arigato gozaimasu. Ice cream. Mmm. So good. It is getting so cold. Right when I landed at the station, there was like a convenience store. But I was like, I can find food here. Who am I kidding? There's no vegetarian options here. No, what's the temperature right now? It's so cold. It's only 59 degrees. I don't know why it's so freaking cold. It is really beautiful here though. got the strawberry daifuku oh, it was in a container and right when I opened it the strawberry fell off I was like oh it's fine I'm at the bamboo forest like it's a little dark because it's like almost five I wonder if I should stay here to watch the sunset. But then I'm like, nah, it's just a sunset. We don't need to watch that, anyways. Um. <laughs> so this place is very pretty. Um, and. Okay guys, now we need to head to the train station and we're pretty close by, it's only seven minute walk.
I swear to God, the stations in Japan is just like the exits are so hard to find. Like, or maybe it's because I can't read it, but honestly, I just feel it's hard to find. I feel there's like because there's multiple different exits. 20 minute walk to my hotel. Honestly, one of my biggest tips for solo traveling is that you definitely need to bring earphones. Like when you're exploring a city, like maybe like a foreign city, especially if you want to learn the language, I try to listen to like what people are saying to learn. Today I learned some phrase like chikan ga atara. All right, that makes me sound like a creep, but I promise I'm not. If you're in a forest, like you should probably not have your headphones in because you're gonna hear the nature and shit. But sometimes if there's like a lot of people and you get like really anxious, then yeah, I think you should have your headphones. But sometimes I remember at the beginning, like even though I was so anxious, I would not wear my headphones because like I just need to know like what's going on around me. But like once you're more familiar with like how things go, then I think that you should wear your headphones. But I'm really happy that I've gotten more comfortable with vlogging outside. I like to film when it's like busy. If it's in the middle of nowhere, it has to be like nobody though. I find it so interesting how it's like literally like down that street, like so busy. And then like when you get to here, it's like so quiet, which I enjoy. I have a feeling I'm gonna be eating convenience food again because I'm a little anxious. Anyway, I'm super happy I got this. This is basically like a blue sparkly sweater. Can I go this way? I don't know. Guys, this is the next morning. Today we have a nail appointment at one. Ever since I came to Japan, I never gotten brunch once. And that's just fucking embarrassing because I'm just fucking anxious. And then I want to book a Shinkansen to Osaka because why in the fuck not, right? I'm having trouble finding vegetarian restaurants. There's a family mart right there. I'm gonna go down the street one more time and if I cannot find anything, I'm just gonna go to Family Mart. This is exactly what I look at and then I'm like, okay, what exactly is vegetarian here? And I'm like, I could just go in there. But then I'm like, oh, I'm scared. But it looks like it's all meat dishes. It, again, I look at this and I'm like, oh, oh wait, this one. Oh my God, shut up. I literally look like a thief. Like I literally like there at the window. I'm scared to make eye contact. Some of you guys are like, Via, you can just go do solo diet. I don't know how that works, I'm scared. I'm scared because I feel like solo dining places, they just want you to figure that shit out. So if I get there and I don't know how to work things, I'm gonna annoy them and I don't want them to annoy them. Okay, I wanna go here. Let's go here. Because you can clearly see that they said vegetarian. Let's go. is I'll just look for the gates. So you have to insert like these little things in order to exit. Oh. Oh, you see the exit? There's an exit sign over there. Look at the glitters. They have like all the lights off. I've noticed it's very common for like the subways to just be connected to like big malls. Go downstairs to get the coffee. 
and that was the awesome. It's like the size they got, biggest size. Never get used to it. There's like a little sky on top. It's out of this entire cafe is really pretty. I was gonna order sweets, but then I'm like, I don't wanna get sweets. I eat too much of them. Literally looking at that, I'm just like, I am so fortunate and grateful like to be able to travel so goddamn far. Like that's crazy. This is gonna sound super cliche, but like the biggest lesson I've learned is the fact that I can do it. Like yeah, I'm gonna be scared, I'm gonna be anxious, but at the end I can do it. You know, like here I am. Like yeah, I'm scared, but I'm still capable though. But anyways. Whenever I like go around places, I always go on TikTok and I just look for places to go. And they said that if you're in Osaka, you should come here, which is like a shopping district. That right there. It reminds me a little of the Hiramachi and Kyoto because of how like there's that. 